I was pretty inspired by the latest Battlefield trailers of their text animations, so I want to create a similar tutorial about it. Let's get into it. So I've got my text here created and I'm gonna start by animating it. So first thing, we're gonna go into animate and select tracking. Then you just wanna make sure your paragraph is set to the center of your text. And I'm just gonna increase this. So about here is fine. And just two simple keyframes over the course of two seconds. We can select them, hit F9, and I'm just gonna drag the graph like so. So we got a basic reveal animation like this. Maybe speed it up just a tiny bit. Okay, let's go ahead and create a background. And we're just gonna use a black solid here, drop it down. And we're gonna start working on our first glitch effect. So let's create a new solid. We'll call this fractal lines and we'll add a fractal noise to this. Let's go ahead and switch it to dynamic or it doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna play around with the settings here. So bring up the contrast, lower the brightness just a bit. And we sort of just want a black and white kind of look here. Go down into transform and unselect uniform scaling. Then what I wanna do is basically create those stretchy lines. So I'll scale down the height and scale the width. This might be a little too thin, so maybe go for something like this. And I can lower the complexity to two. And we're gonna keep adjusting these until it's pretty much just black and white. Let's go to the beginning of our comp and we'll set a keyframe for the evolution here. So let's go to the end of a composition and maybe set it to four. As well as I want to go into evolution options here and under random seed, I'll create a keyframe. So set it to maybe 50. So once we play this back, we just got some dancing lines like so. And I just want to animate our brightness now. So let's bring it down until it's dark. Set a keyframe and go to about here. And we just want to make the screen fully white like so. So this is the animation we've got. We can also make those lines a bit wider. So maybe up the height a bit and the width just a tiny bit more. All right, let's go ahead and create the second layer. So I'll just control D and duplicate it and we'll name this to block. And here I'm just going to set the noise type to block and we can bring it down just a tiny bit. We're just gonna create sort of like a wide range of blocks across the screen. So maybe scale this up as well. So we've got something like this and let's go ahead and change the blending mode to screen. So we have both layers animated at the same time. Now I'm going to select these two layers, pre-compose them. Let's rename this to fractal. And I'll grab my text layer here and make it a track mat to this layer and make sure it's a luma mat. So basically it's going to reveal within these lines. Now let's go ahead and create our first adjustment layer. We'll call this displace. And I'll add a displacement map to it. Let's select our fractal noise here and we'll change this to luminous. Now I'm going to set it to something like 80. You don't want to go too much. It's basically how much it's going to be distorted. And then we're going to duplicate this effect. So control D and change it to minus 80 on the second one. And we got this nice looking distortion. Now, if you want to add these small glitches after the text is already revealed, what you can do is go back here. Let's cut our block layer short right about here. And I'm just going to set a couple of keyframes here. So you to bring up the keyframes. Set a keyframe for my brightness and just a few frames forward. We want to bring back some of those tweaky lines and just copy back. And we'll create a few of these. So these will basically react as small glitches. So if we switch to this position, you can see our text gets this sort of a flicker effect. So just in case you want to add this, that is how you can do it. Next, I'll add a new adjustment layer and we'll call this stretch. And I'll be adding a CC scale wipe. So if we set it to 90 on the direction, let's increase the stretch. You can see we're getting this nice stretchy kind of effect. So let's just go to the middle of the animation here. And I'm gonna drop this under my displacement layer. And actually we can disable it for now. I just wanna position this sort of on the right middle of our text here. So right about here. And I'm going to set a keyframe towards the end. So hit the stopwatch here, 
you to bring up the keyframes and right about here we'll set it to zero select them hit f9 so we just get this cool stretchy kind of look now what i'm going to do here is actually select a mask and just make a mask on halfway of our effect and switch it to subtract so this way just half of the text is sort of stretched here next i'm going to duplicate this layer so Control d i'm going to change the direction to minus 90 and we're going to move the mask to say about here and the center point also to the lower left sort of middle here so we're basically doing the same thing just on the other side and i am going to tweak those keyframes going to move them to the right just a bit so they have some variation okay let's enable everything together and playing it all together this is how we get this glitchy distortion kind of look which i find pretty interesting and it's pretty easy to make now say you want to just adjust your text so you can simply go in and type in a different text and we'll adjust so you can use this pretty much as a template you might just want to adjust your stretch points so for example here i'll just drag this point right there and then we got a bit of a more interesting look on this text now just a final touch of compositing we'll select everything and pre-compose it and add a quick noise effect set it to maybe 15 and add a quick chromatic aberration. Now this is a plugin, but it is a free one, so I do recommend getting it. And it just gives us this RGB shift, which we might lower to 0.1. So we just want a tiny bit of it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.